I feel like I haven't been here in so long. What an awful fucking two nights of wrestling. Before we start this game for one review, uh, I got some news and notes to, to, to talk about. I feel like the tripod is a lot lower than it usually is, but we're in the shot. That's all that matters. Um, we saw CM Punk. There was a Facebook thread, and I watched it live. Glorious. Fantastic moment. If you don't know, if you're living under a rock, CM Punk got killed in two minutes. <laughs> He's the dead. guy, the guy just kept punching him in the head and then choked him out. And he actually tapped out. No, he tapped out. It was a beautiful moment. Then that fucking Mickey guy had to ruin it by making the most cornball speech ever, where he's like, Stop the hate, guys! Fuck the haters! Get out of here, Mickey! <laughs> beat a 45-year-old man. <laughs> anyway. He sounds like a real fag and punk couldn't yeah. even beat him. It was glorious. Uh, what's another thing? Right, the Rantathon. Right. If you watched the Backlash Hangout, thank you to Mr. McCoy and Caliber Shadow, that also got a ridiculous amount of views. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you watch that, you know uh, that there's a... Rantathon update. We're going to reinitiate the process because we're lazy assholes and we're retarded. It's not our fault. And all of if the we, if the people really knew our schedules, they'd be shocked that we upload as much as we do. All of the Rantathon topics that we have are topical, but they're topical for things that were five months ago. So if we did it now, nobody would give a shit. So what we're going to do? We did shoot a little bit of it, so we'll include that in we it. Shot a lot. And it was funny. Yes. But the rest, the remainder of uh, the rent of them things are going to be things that you're going to leave on this video right here. And we are going, here's the Smartbusters pledge. Can I make that official pledge? Like a 95%. 95% pledge that we're going to have it up on Sunday. So leave your new rent request. Don't go, forget the other one. Forget the other video. That's not happening. Leave your rent requests on this video. And we can say with... Maybe 80% certainty, 75, 40% certainty that it'll be up on Sunday. Isn't that exciting news, John? Anyway, so yeah, leaving them on this video. I think we could do it. Don't do it on the other video. Do it on this video. This one right here. You hear what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying? Okay, good. Uh, into the Backlash review. This was the first SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view, and it stank. It sure felt like a SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view. It starts with Renee Young interviewing a 12-year-old Nickelodeon star. <clears throat> I hope you're joking. No, that really happened. His name is Jagger. Oh, God. So, Jagger, tell me about your show. Well, Renee, get out of here, Jagger. Who the hell's Jagger? Jagger's the Nickelodeon star. Is he from Schneider's Bakery? I, I don't know. Wouldn't it be great if Schneider's Bakery just cooked Jews? <laughs> <laughs> so, um... The show officially starts with Shane and Cropper coming out, and they talk about how they're going to put on a great show for these fans. I'm sick of these two jobs. Are these guys gay for each other? They certainly are. If you like, I know that's a really juvenile joke, but is there some kind of, like, hairy beard fraught going on here? Well, the Cropper guy comes out in flannels, and the fucking Shane guy comes out in multicolored sneakers. That tells you everything you need to know right there. Not that I have anything personal against flannels. It's just, you know... Like, the whole idea of, like... A commissioner and a general manager. I just find that ridiculously gay, and it's the writers trying to cram as many names onto the screen at once, and so that it makes it look like that there's all this epic well, shit. The whole going idea on. of the commissioner and GM coming out at a pay per view to tell the fans the show is going to be great in and of itself is a problem. When WrestleMania 20 started, fucking fuck Vince McMahon didn't come out and this show is going to be great. <laughs> the show just started. Cena came out and made penis jokes. Yeah, you know? Choke on these nuts. See, Madison Square Television! This show sucks! That explains why these nuts is doing so good in the polls, because John Cena endorsed them. I saw that. <laughs> got more votes than Jill Stein. Anyway, what happened? Right, we got Diva shit to open the show. Why are you committing suicide, WWE? Why are you doing this to yourself? Do you oh, it's for the, uh, is this, was this for the new SmackDown Divas Championship? I think that's what it was. Ah, I am so sick. Every belt they make now is literally that stupid giant W with a colors. different color. Charlie, Charlie Wolfrank had the greatest joke about it. They said they're LGBT rainbow belts. That's what it looks like. It's stupid. And then the, the original one didn't even look cool. It looks stupid. I forgot to say, please subscribe to Jack's Wolf Pack. 
join Wolfpack Nation. When new titles would debut, you'd be excited to wonder what they look like. Now it's like, gee, what color is the backing leather going to look? Blue leather? You're, st you're still gonna get the fucking cornball W, and it, 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 there's no, it's not bedazzled at all. Like, where's the jewels, man? It's just stupid. What's the pro? Like, what are you winning? There's no prize. It looks prize. like construction paper, like the little glitter thing. Yeah, it looks like they did like a fifth grade sweepstakes. Who can design the belt with classroom material? And it's they just so bad. It's awful. So somebody won this exciting Davis match. You're kill. You're killing yourself. You're you're kidding yourself, and you're killing yourself. How many times can I say the same shit? Nobody cares. I haven't actually mustered the courage to check the ratings thread on Wrestling Forum to see that circle jerk. Is it going down still? Yeah, of course it is! I haven't checked, so don't hold me to that. But there's no way it's going up. It's probably been consistently around the low twos. So now The Miz is with Jagger from Nickelodeon backstage. <laughs> Why are you doing star. this? Why are you doing, you know, Snickers Cruncher, that was a good sponsor. Skittles was because JR can be a ridiculous goofball with YJ that. YJ Stinger. YJ Stinger from Stacker 2, like that was good. The PlayStation 2. That, <laughs> not Nickelodeon, not fucking Faggity Jagger. I know Jagger's like 12 years old, so this is like awful, but fucking kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> We're just kidding. <laughs> of course, kids. Guys. This is all in good fun, by the way. You know that, right? It's all about having fun, You know, do you hear what YouTube's doing? What are they doing? They're demonetizing videos that are, like, profane and use bad language. So what I'm doing is I'm tag-loading our videos with things like Fluffy Bunny and <laughs> making people happy is a phrase that I'm using. <laughs> if you want a good laugh, find a way to see what our tags are. In uh, all subsequent uploads, that is. Uh, so, Bray Wyatt with Dreadlocks is backstage, oh. he's stepping on Randy Orton, because Randy Orton legit got hurt, so they had to take him out of the cornball match that got planned. Randy Orton is a glass snake, he's, and he needs to retire. Yes, and then hang himself in his attic. So then, the now evil Usos, who turned heel on, on some SmackDown... On one of the smorgasbord of shit shows that no one knows what time they're on, so nobody watches them. Yeah, they don't, they don't dance anymore, and they don't wear bathing suits. Now they wear all black, and they're like, they're like ghetto Usos with their hoods up, like, Yo, man, yeah. Hands up, Yo. don't shoot, man, yeah. It's me, <laughs> Jimmy Uso. I'm Samoa, but I'm gonna act Hands up, don't shoot. Oh! Hands up, don't shoot. Oh! I don't go act black. We ain't about family anymore. We about ourselves. Yep. Kneel during the national anthem. So who do they fight? Uh, they fought the Hype Brothers at a pay-per-view. <laughs> <laughs> I know Zach Akeem Ryder is one of the Hype Brothers, and they call him Akeem because he decided to grow up in Laden beard. <laughs> The other one is that fucking fat frog from NXT who has eye black. I don't remember his name. Anyway, why is this at a pay-per-view? Why are the Hype Brothers fighting the new evil... The new and approved... Oh! The Samoan Lives Matter Usos. Like, <laughs> why is this happening? And why do they think that making them wear all black is going to make them seem evil? Oh, man. Yeah, now we're bad guys. We'll wear black. Yeah, we got our hoods up. Random crazy bro said it looked like they were wearing trash bags, and I agree with that statement. <laughs> Rhino and Heath Slater are now talking backstage. So this is like the new smart circle jerk. They're like, oh, I don't want to spoil anything, but... Spoil what? What happens? I think Slater apparently... Like, oh, he won the tag belt, Slater. Right. No one gives a shit. Just no one well, watches right, the show fine. anyway. Smarks are like, this is great. WWE's finally listening to the fans. When they like somebody, they're pushing them. So now because Heath Slater acted like fucking Stone Cold coming through the crowd wanting a contract... Smarks think that this is the second coming of the greatest wrestler ever, and now he needs to have every belt. This is a guy who literally had to get his tits drained of fluid. I give him credit for doing it. Yeah. But out of all the wrestlers who had boobs, there was no doubt about it. He looked like he was about to give birth, and you know, like right before they give birth, the nipples the start puffy. popping up. Yeah. So when the baby starts sucking on it, the milk comes flying out. <laughs> That's what this guy had. He had growths in his boobs because his mammary glands were actually doing what mammary glands were supposed to do produce milk. Okay? And this is also a guy who probably took so, so many steroids, which is what caused the boobs, he's losing his hair. <laughs> he's, this guy is a complete disaster. Remember when this guy had long hair, but it was receding? He literally looks like the product of incest. <laughs> and this is who Smarks want to push now, because he came through the crowd a couple of times, and Fat Joey Beard in the crowd was like, ah! Not to mention, this guy's already like a three-time tag champion with the core. 
<laughs> so it's not like he's been a jobber his whole career. They tried Heath Slater, and it failed, because he's boring. He worked as the one-man band. It was funny. You know, a fucking, I hate these people! The guy was a jobber. He entertained you as a jobber, and you cheered him, and then wondered why, because you're cheering him as a jobber. He's not getting, it's the same thing as the fucking Mizdow shit. Shows how the company's changed. They fucking fired Mizdow. Speaking of Mizdow, the Miz fought Dolph Ziggler at a pay-per-view. Dolph Ziggler wore his fucking gay pink outfit, but he had an American flag on his pants. Which cemented Backlash 2016 as the worst of any tragedies to occur on the date September 11th. <laughs> uh, so then Wyatt goes in the ring. I love everyone. I want to fight. Because I'm scared. Why does he love him? <laughs> so it's announced that Orton, uh, he's not going to show up. Oh, no. So instead, uh, Kane comes out to fight him in a no-holds-barred match. Yeah, this is really what everybody... I mean, I love Kane, but, like, did they think that him coming out, Cole wasn't there, right? No, it was Big Mario on the Volts Cup. Did they think Mario's screaming about... Oh, it's the Big Red Ball! The Big Red Monster! We're supposed to be like, this is great. I really want to see this for yeah. the millionth time. You know what? Why didn't they have another Ring of Fire match? <laughs> oh, God, don't even mention that. You know what was great, though? Kane, who hasn't won a match in about <laughs> well, 50,000 I mean, years. This is Bray Wyatt we're talking He beat about. Bray Wyatt. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Once again, you know, when they did the, this brand new exciting brand split, two distinct entities. Mark's like, why is finally gonna get a chance? Yes, I'm the top heel of the blue brand! I got dreadlocks now! That makes me say, I said all my job is free! That means I'm out to get the top, I'm gonna be heel, I'm scared! No! You're still gonna lose. Now keep swimming in midair, whatever this is. <laughs> You're never gonna win a match. I really think Bray Wyatt's ever done this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, did you see the video of Bo Dallas drunk at the airport? That was amazing. <laughs> General Jerry introduced me to that, and then I saw the video singing the Lion King, <laughs> screaming like a maniac. They're like dragging him off the plane. So I said, Bray's the eater of worlds, and Bo is the drinker of spirits. <laughs> That's good. You gotta see what they're doing with Bo Dallas nowadays. More than that, when we get to the raw portion of this gay fool. Oh, he was actually on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're actually doing shit with Bo Dallas, and it's the gayest thing you'll ever see. It's more of that gay, fake topicality that WWE loves. So then the Usos fought Rhino and Heath, pff, Rhino and Heath Slater, and they lost, and then you deserve a chance for Slater, because I guess a guy who's done nothing his whole career deserves it. Like I said, this is what they're gonna... They're literally going to latch onto this guy's tits now. You know what they won? They won the same belt that the Diva bitch right. won and that they Kevin won Owens the won silver the penny. It's just silver. The silver penny. Unbelievable. So, uh, the Miz and Ziggler, they had a match, you right? You realize, like, if this was a couple of years ago, how hard you would be ranting about these belts. Yeah, but there's, like, I... I, I no, dude, it's, look it's, at this part! Like, We'd like, be screaming, I'd have thrown my hat by now, revealing my That's Jew how pro. bad this has got. But, like, I just don't give a shit anymore. So, you know how Miz and Ziggler had a match at a pay-per-view? We then see them again, only this time uh, the Miz is in the ring dressed up like a chicken, and Dolph Ziggler is in the ring dressed up like the Colonel, and they have a match again. <laughs> Here's our exciting main event. It's Dean Ambrose versus AJ Styles. It's oh yeah, this was a real stat card! It was an hour long, this match. AJ Styles eventually got frustrated that he has gay emo hair. And he just, he, he basically, what happened in this match was AJ Styles was having some kind of like gay sexual frustration where he wants to come out of the closet, but can't. And he got very angry. So he just lashed out at <coughs> Ambrose's balls and kicked him really hard in the balls. And uh, then he pinned him and he won the belt. And then some smart online wrote this like college thesis length essay about how this time last year Styles was fighting Okada for the New Japan title. And now... But what's more, what's more prestigious in reality? New Japan. And then someone was like, all he's got to do now is go to ROH and win their belt and he'll be the greatest of all time. He hasn't done that yet. I guess not. I thought he was the king of the indies. Anyway, so Smarks now have a fat pregnant Kevin Owens with a pew beard as their champion and AJ Styles as champion. They got Heath Slater as tag champion. Ziggler fought for a belt tonight. <laughs> They're, very... They're still complaining. <laughs> They're never happy. They have everything they want. <laughs> No one else wants it, mind you. No, the, no, they got what they wanted. They ruined it for everyone else, and they're still upset about it. What? Why aren't they using Neville right? When are they going to bring up this faggot? Like, 
<laughs> Whatever. Backlash 2016 blue giant black cock. Moving on to the raw portion of the program, which also blue giant black cock. It started out with that fucking retard Foley, and he talks about how great the women of SmackDown are. <laughs> I like the women of SmackDown, I and then he brings the women of Raw out to have a Divas match to open the show. Do you want to engage your audience? Do you want to get, like, usually the opening segment gets the highest rating of the night. I can't imagine them retaining an audience for this. I happen to enjoy Bailey. I, I happen to enjoy Bailey. You're, you're Gooby. You're Gooby. <laughs> ah. Whatever. After that celebration of tripe that literally put me to sleep. You know what I want to happen? I want there to be like a comic con oh, no. somewhere, and all these beards are are sitting in the audience, all excited. It was supposed to be for little girls, but the beards did what they did to My Little Pony. They scared the little girls away, and they're all lined up in this like civic center auditorium thing at this nerd stink con, waiting for <laughs> Bailey to come out so they can ask her questions like, "Who is your favorite Naruto character?" <laughs> in a Q and A. And Bailey comes out and she starts hugging people and those stupid foam people are blowing around. <laughs> and all of a sudden the lights go out and ISIS paratroopers <laughs> come in with freaking AK-74s, not even AK-47s, AK-74s wow. with attached grenade launchers. And they just kill hundreds of people in the room. They kill them all! They kill Bailey! They kill the neckbeards! The room is just filled with bodies! Because these people need to die! Hiccup. I'm can, sorry. Can the Knights Hospital or them come in on horse? What is wrong with you? I enjoy Bailey. Why? Why do you enjoy Bailey? What the fuck? This isn't normal. Oh God. I'm sorry. This isn't normal. You have severe medical problems. You need to either be locked up in an asylum, or I don't know what else needs to happen. It's not normal for grown men to like. Bailey, regardless of what the thread on Wrestling Forum came to the conclusion that it's acceptable. It's not acceptable. And stop saying, well, that ass. Fuck you. Oh, that hurt. I can't stop hiccups. Sorry, I was just killing the ISIS terrorists so we don't look like complete psychopaths here. Because, you know, we can't have ISIS get over. Anyway. If ISIS did that, I might defect. No joke. I can't stop hiccups. That was a joke, by the way, fellas. Yeah, all getting aside. Fuck ISIS. Yeah. <laughs> Die. Eat me, ISIS. I fucking hate you. Mohammed is a fucking goat fucking faggot. And if I could draw him and show it to everybody, I would. The smart buses have a large Muslim fan base, by the do way. Do we? <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> well, I said fuck ISIS. And you said Mohammed was a pedophile and you would draw because him. Because the, the moderate Muslims won't be offended by that. The smart busters are all for respecting other cultures. And here we are, here we go. We gotta have our Donald Trump moment. We formally disavow ISIS. Ah. <gasps> Disa Ow. I didn't know the word disavow existed until this fucking David Dyke shit. The YouTube subscribers that sh Where did I leave off? Can't stop pick up it. Right, Enzo <laughs> and uh, Cass, uh, they had a, a little exchange with Primo and Epico. Ah, wow, got a little personal back there. Well, because last week Enzo said that uh, he was going to go into labor and give birth. That's really cool. And cute. that was so hilarious that, uh. That bear is blueberry. Another working program of uh, Primo and Epico. Yeah. Kevin Owens has an interview with Tom Phillips. I'm gonna bring a ball. Change. <laughs> And then Jericho's standing there making, like, Elvis faces in the background. I don't know how I feel about this weird mustache, like, <laughs> cornball Jericho. Like, it's funny, but at the same time, it's really gay. And not gay in, like, a haha, -ha, he's the heel way. It's gay in, like, a why the fuck am I watching this shit way. I don't know! Uh, so then here's what I was telling you about. Bo Dallas comes out, and his uh -huh. gimmick now... Is that you have to... <laughs> I you, can't stop hiccuping. thing. You have to believe in Bo. <clears throat> He's running for president, and his slogan is Bo Leave in Bo. Isn't that topical? This is worse than Mex America. This is so gay. And he's in a singlet beating up jobbers. Like, why is he this strong, mean, tough guy? All we've ever seen him do is run around in the tidy whitey saying he loves himself. Like, <laughs> why is he an evil jobber now? Because he got drunk on a plane? I don't get it. No one's going to be impressed by Bo Dallas suddenly being an ass kicker. I'm going to hold my breath for a few minutes. Okay. How about I just scare you? I can't scare people. I suck at it. 
Then we get the highlight reel with Sami Zayn. When Sami Zayn came out, he tipped his newsboy hat to the crowd and said, Well, you know, Jericho, uh, thank you for having me on your shoulder, eh? And then just stopped watching it. Like, why is he so polite? Why is he so nice? Why is he so happy to be there? Why is he dressed up like that? Why? If you enjoyed this video and want to hear more WWE... We love all of our fans. Any race, color, creed. Not gender, though. <laughs> Women are fucking stupid and shouldn't vote. They shouldn't vote, period. Uh, so then Cesaro fought Sheamus again in their best of 25 series to determine the winner of the series. Like, I don't know, I still don't know what they're fighting for. I think I cured myself. <clears throat> Interesting. Foley and uh, Rollins didn't have a chat. Hi! Rollins decided it'd be a good thing to put his head under a sink before talking to Foley, I guess. He, <laughs> hey, Mick, I'm just happy to be here and his hair's dripping. I don't understand that. Anyway. I don't, I don't even remember what they talked about. I just wrote Cornball Fake Passion. But I don't remember what they talked about. I'm gonna be the next. I'm gonna be so sad. I'm gonna be so sad. I'm gonna be so sad. Triple H won't get away with that. Then uh, more diva shit happened. They're on way too much now. Then the New Day fought the club again. The club is better than the MWO. Yeah. yeah. The club's missing the third man, Slam Master J, with his cornrows. If you're white, don't get cornrows. <laughs> Especially if you're a chick. You look like such a, just a fucking dish rag whore. Okay, people don't think you're attractive. They want to fertilize your hair with semen. <laughs> not, not in like a sexual way, in like a humiliating way, you know? <laughs> the type of girl who's drunk in a dumpster and then Brock Turner jumps in and just... <laughs> By the way, the Smart Busters are big Brock Turner fans. <laughs> Go get him, Brock! Yeah! <laughs> it was only 20 minutes, guys. <laughs> his, his douchey face. <laughs> you guys try to have fucking fun! You know? <laughs> That's what we're all about. Hashtag having fun. Having fun. <laughs> what happened to Pit? Come on, can you guys lighten up? You guys out fucking having fun. You want to throw him in jail for having a good time? <laughs> Good for that judge for going easy on him, and good for Brock. He, he displayed good behavior in prison. That's why he got out. You know, nothing illegal about good behavior. You should be happy for Brock. He's clearly reformed. Brock Turner. I fuck him. I'm a I'm a Brock Turner fan. He's a great swimmer. Have you seen his times? Look at his times. <laughs> this is the most horrible video we've ever made. All right, so far we've got ISIS murdering an entire <laughs> Comic Con. We've got us being racist against Muslims for like no reason. And now we've got Brock Turner defense. <laughs> We're serious about the Brock Turner defense. All you know is the all kidding side, you know, like let's get serious for real. Brock Turner's like, he's the kind of guy you want to go party with. You know? I'm just saying. <laughs> Why am I laughing so hard? So, Jinder Mahal is in the ring, and Jack Swagger comes out, and he's still over for some reason. Like, he still gets massive cheers and chants, and then I didn't even stay to watch the end of the segment. So. <laughs> Brock Turner! <laughs> WWE, we should sign Brock Turner. Oh my god, some fucking gay-ass neckbeard wrote this stupid thing about, you know, in kayfabe, Foley looks like he really messed up by signing Jinder Mahal instead of Heath Slater. Hang yourself. You're such a fucking... Not even the company is thinking that. <laughs> like, oh, what's Vince gonna think? He might give Daniel Bryan some slack because he made a good signing. No, <laughs> they're not even thinking that, so neither should you. Uh, so Swagger's now with Tom Phillips, and Tom Phillips asks him, how do you feel about your match? And then Swagger just makes sex noises and walks away without <laughs> saying anything. He's just like... <sighs> <laughs> Swagger looks like... <laughs> <laughs> Before Swagger got the beard, like when he was the All American, he looked just like Brock. They need to give Swagger a douchey frat boy rapist gimmick where he tries to rape passed out divas. It's like, what, he's putting roofies. <laughs> Come out during divas matches. Like, after Nia Jack squashes some jobber, Jack Swagger sneaks in and just starts dry humping him. <laughs> He starts teabagging them and then just runs away. A bunch of a bunch of refs come out, start hopping like, "Hey, get out of here! Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> His finishing move can be called good behavior. <laughs> That's pretty fucking good, right? So Enzo and Cass come out and they suck and they're fighting Primo and Epico for no reason. 
Uh, I hate Primo. I'm trying phone. to think if I should edit anything out of this review. <laughs> yeah, you think long and hard about that. <laughs> so uh, uh, Rollins, uh, he's backstage and he wishes Kevin Owens luck. And his hair is still wet from like an hour and a half ago from when he had his previous segment. Like, hair doesn't stay wet that long. That means prior to going on camera, somebody told him, put your head under the sink again, Seth. You're going on camera. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Brock Turner still? <laughs> anyway. You know, people get raped every day. The feigned outrage over this Brock Turner thing. I'm sorry for the side rant. The girl's a whore. Let's not sugarcoat this in any way possible. She was passed out drunk by a dumpster. That's not the sign of, like, the Duchess of Cambridge. That's the sign of a whore. I mean, yeah. End rant. Anyway, where do we walk? Um, right, Foley tells uh, Rollins, you better not interfere in the main event. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> what happened next? The parking meter is turning to nowhere out. I was hoping so. Not doing anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Uh, so Reigns fought Owens in our exciting main event. Uh, if Reigns wins, he gets put in the title match at Clash of the Titans, or whatever it's called. Clash of the Jobbers. It was really fucking boring and uninteresting at all. Rollins showed up eventually and fully yelled at him for showing up. He said, You and I are going to have a talk. Like he's the fucking second grade teacher. <laughs> And then he Rusev says, out of nowhere. He says, restart the match! So the match restarts, and uh, 45 minutes, <laughs> just fucking false finishes happen, and like none of them are interesting. And for literally no reason that I can discern, Rusev shows up and distracts Roman Reigns, and uh, Kevin Owens says, pop, 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 and uh, he wins, and then Rusev. Uh, he, he, he just, he, he, he's toying with Roman. Trying to humiliate Roman. Ah, I think he's Eric. We Sorry. haven't seen Bruce seven weeks. So that happened. Uh. Um, if you haven't unsubscribed from us yet, mm. you can leave your rent requests in the, in the comments section. There's a 5% chance we'll do it on Sunday. <laughs> that that um, went down. <laughs> Uh, anything else you want to add, maybe, about Brock Turner or <laughs> He something? just put his picture out. But, no, 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 that takes too much effort. Okay. I just, I want to, I, I probably have to cut out, like, half of this video, because we're just too cutting-edge and controversial. Um, I can't think of anything to say. Fuck Cody Rhodes. <laughs>